F was the skeptic, you know, in the, in the group. That's all over now. He's very much on board with the fact that there is a vampire epidemic in New York City and it's happening and it's his job to stop it. It's a sort of a fun ramping up of, of what we set up in the first season. She's dealing a lot with a new, um, new ways to relating to uh, F, Corey Stahl's character, as he started drinking again. And also uh, dealing very quietly with her mother's death. And also discovering Zach um, as uh, his mother, you know, disappeared and she's turned nor in a way becomes a surrogate mother to the kid during season two. That's a loner. He's a lone wolf. He's been on his own for a long time. So it's interesting to see how he deals with uh, being at close quarters and having people live in his space that no one's ever been in, let alone a group of people be in. The master has let Kelly out on a very long leash to do not only his bidding but her own, and she has some very special assistance this season. Mama Bear on the loose. Better watch out because Kelly is relentless this season. She goes from this kind of selfish girl that just is out for herself to someone who believes in the fight, gets excited by the fight, and then to someone who cares and realizes that her actions have really, really deep consequences. This season, they're, they're showing different colors and different sides of Gus. You know, you get to know him a little more and, and who he really is as a person and what his intentions really are. And it shows why he's so sort of uh, tough on the outside. He's back. <laughs> and looking for blood. He picks himself up off the floor having failed to dispatch the master in season one. He feels as though he's, he's failed and got it spectacularly wrong and, and he's aware that the rest of the group have lost a little bit of faith in him or they start to question his judgment and that for him is a real setback. Now that he's restored to health for the first time in his life, all sorts of things work to his advantage. He's got his strength, he's got his vigor in all senses of the word. We have uh, constructed a bridge between his Nazi character, human Nazi character, just before he was turned. We will see some more flashbacks and you understand more about the character because we go into a moment where he wasn't yet a Nazi. Come, I am waiting for you. You smell good.